Welcome back to the final installment of the DIY instruction kit, brought to you in part by Backyard Brains. In this step, we're going to fully assemble the speaker box. You should already have your PCB fully assembled, as well as your speaker and your recording electrode. If you don't, no worries. Go back and watch the other videos. Let's take a look at what's still in the bag. We have two pieces of wood, four screws, four nuts, a piece of tubing, two separate cork stickers, and a Backyard Brains decal. We're going to start with the piece of tubing. Each kit contains about 4 inches of plastic vinyl tubing. Next, I measure the length of the tube, and then I divide that length into 4 equal portions. I put a mark next to each one so I can come back and cut it. Using a standard pair of scissors, I can then cut the tube into four equal portions. Each portion will be about an inch long. If you feel like being more advanced, you can further cut each inch into a three quarters inch and a quarter inch and place one quarter of the inch underneath the PCB board. For now, I'm going to leave mine in one inch portions. Now we're finally ready for assembly. Start by placing the piece of wood with a hole in it so that it's positioned to the left side. Note that the hole is closer to the front edge. This will be the edge that we place our connectors on. Now take the bottom board, turn it over, and place in the four screws. Then take your PCB assembly, align it to the four screws, then push it down to the bottom of the board. Next, we take the spacers that we made and place them over the machine screws. Now let's take the leads of the speaker assembly and begin to twist them around each other. Plug in the female end of the speaker assembly into the male end on the PCB board. It doesn't matter which way you connect the speaker, there's no polarity. Now we're going to place the speaker into the bottom side of the top board. The speaker should snap into place and stay there with a friction fit. If your speaker is too big to fit into the hole, you may need to lightly sand the opening. Now we add four nuts to the top of the machine screws to secure the top in place. We'll need a spot to place the pins when we hold on our specimen. For this, we're going to use the cork stickers. Peel off the backing and adhere it to the top of the spiker box. You will want to place it on the right hand side so that it's close to the RCA connector. A single sticker of cork is not thick enough to hold our pins. Therefore, we've added two stickers so you can place them on top of each other. No kit or model is ever complete without the addition of a decal. The spiker box is no exception. Therefore, we've included a decal so you can proudly display it on top of your spiker box. Now take the recording electrode and insert it into the RCA plug. You can place the pins into the cork and hold it there until we're ready for an experiment. Congratulations, you've now completed the assembly of your very own spiker box. Before we even hook up an invertebrate, we can test if the spiker box is working. With nothing attached to the spiker box, you should hear the speaker click on every time the power is cycled. If you hear something like that, then you're probably good to go. Now we're going to test our new spiker box with a living invertebrate. I've anesthetized our cockroach on ice, and I'm carefully removing the hind leg. I first place a pin through the femur of the cockroach leg and push it into the cork. I take the remaining pin and I push it through the coxa or the back of the cockroach leg and into the cork. This will act as our reference or a ground for our electrical recordings. Now that the pins are in place, let's turn on the spiker box and see if we can hear spikes. Let's take a closer look.
Sounds like spikes to me. You now have all the tools you need to become the next great scientist. And remember, if you let someone hear a spike for the very first time, you should document it on the Backyard Brains website. You can click on First Timers and enter your name plus the number of people that you showed your spikes to. Happy science, and let the neural revolution begin!